Hi, so in this class of cloud computing, today we will hear study about the cloud computing infrastructure, simply the cloud infrastructure here. So the cloud uh, technology here basically consists of like servers, storage, uh, network, the management and deployment softwares and the virtualization platforms. So the various elements here are like this the network the server storage and then hypervisor and then we have the management software and the deployment softwares management software and Deployment software. So, this is an overlay here for the infrastructure of the cloud systems network, server, storage, the hypervisor, and then the management software, and then the deployment software. So, we will study here about all of these components here one by one. So, first of all, which we are going to study is the network. So, the very first one. is the network so network here is the key component of your cloud infrastructure so it allows to connect the cloud services over the internet so that means this is basically a connectivity pla platform here so network is basically the key component which allows to or it allows to connect the cloud uh, services over the internet so for network, we can say that it is also possible to deliver the network as a utility over the internet. So this is basically the fundamental of your cloud computing that with this technology, we are able to provide the various application services or this network as a utility over the internet. So that means the consumer can customize the network route and the protocol. So we have basically two terminologies here for your cloud networking. First one is your cloud enabled networking and another one is your cloud based networking. So we have two categories here, cloud enabled networking and then we have the cloud based networking. So first of all, we have the cloud enabled networking here. Now in cloud enabled networking, as it includes the word enabled here, that means this technology is having or this networking is using basically 
the services here. So we can say that it moves the management and the certain aspects for your control into the cloud. It means some of the uh, terminologies or some of the aspects of a cloud here will be with the complete infrastructure and some, uh, some of them will be apart. So this cloud enabled network is having the management and the certain aspects or the certain uh, things for your controlling into the cloud. That means it's just using these two. But rather than that, the connectivity and the other functions, packet mode functions such as your routing, switching and security services are often located into local hardware. That means it has two divisions. We can simply say one for your uh, connectivity part and another one for your management and controlling part. So it's just moving because we're enabling a simple technology into cloud enabled technology. So we're moving the management and the controlling functions into the cloud. But your hardware regarding for your connectivity and your packet functions like your switching and your routing functions are uh, local and often in some another hardware. So this is your cloud enabled networking. That, mean, that means we're enabling cloud networking here. Now, the next one is your cloud-based networking. Now, cloud-based networking moves all the core networking functions, including your addressing and actual path into one system here. That means it doesn't have these two systems, but in cloud-based networking, you're moving the complete core networking things into one domain. So that basically eliminates here the need for any local hardware and which provides uh, the internet connection here. So that means in cloud-based networking, you have the complete system together here. That means all your networking, switching, routing, management, control functions are just moved into one domain here. So this is the network part of the cloud infrastructure, which is the key component here for your cloud computing because it is uh, delivering here or it is possible to deliver the network as a utility over the internet. That means the various consumers can customize the network route and the protocols here. Now, after this, the next is your server or we can say that the cloud servers here. So, the next component here are your servers. So servers uh, basically are the devices or servers help us to compute the resource sharing or these are basically computational resources which help here in the resource sharing and it also offers other services like here. First of all, it provides resource sharing. So this basically or we can say that the servers helps for in resource sharing and the other functions which are here performed by your servers are like your resource allocation, resource deallocation, monitoring resources and the security etc. So the resource allocation, the resource deallocation, the resource monitoring and security etc so these are the functions here for your servers now the cloud servers work in the same way as the physical servers but the functions here can be different uh, than your physical ser servers because what happens here in your cloud technology the host in cloud hosting the cloud uh, the clients here are basically renting the virtual server space rather than renting on uh, or purchasing the actual physical server so we have a different concept here because in here we're using the virtual uh, a virtualization of your servers because clients there are renting for those virtual servers now we have two different categories here for the cloud servers also the shared hosting and the dedicated hosting the two categories here are your shared hosting and 
shared last one is your shared hosting and another one is your dedicated hosting now this shared hosting is basically an cheaper options why because the servers here are shared between the hosting providers client but that means there is a, a provider it has a number of clients so those servers are here shared between the different number of clients so that's why it is a cheaper option now there are certain disadvantages also here with this technology because the setup is inflexible and it cannot cope up here with large amount of traffic because this is a shared resource it will be shared among the multiple uh, clients of one provider now secondly we have this one which is your dedicated hosting now dedicated hosting is an advanced form of hosting where the clients which is whole physical server that means entire server is dedicated to them but it would be a costly platform as compared to your shared hosting now cloud servers what happens in cloud uh, technology here is that the resources are scalable that means according to the needs they could be scaled up or they could be scaled down so that means we have flexibility and scalability here in the cloud server so this is one of the key benefits here that the resources are scalable so it provides you the benefit of flexibility and scalability here now cost effectiveness is another factor here because it's also providing the shared platform here cost effectiveness is another benefit then ease of setup and third one is the reliability so cloud servers basically can run on your hypervisors or they basically run on hypervisor because hypervisors role is to control the capacity of the operating systems here so this is about your cloud servers having shared hosting and the dedicated hosting so this basically also depends upon the requirements of the organization now after servers the third thing is the storage now cloud basically uses distributed file system for storage purpose and we also know that cloud is also referred as distributed computing so according to that cloud technology here uses distributed file system it uses here distributed file system for the for a purpose of storage so that means if one of the storage resource fail then it can be extracted from another so which makes here the cloud computing more reliable technology so that means the storage of data is online in your cloud so if there is a particular organization so company's data is stored in cloud and then it is accessible here from the multiple distributed and connected resources that basically comprises of a cloud so this is a distributed computing which is a reliable source that means if one of the storage resource fails it could be extracted from the another one so it is the storage of data online in your cloud systems now we have different types of cloud storage also so first one is your public cloud storage public cloud storage now what happens in your public cloud storage is the here the enterprise and the storage service provider are separated and there is not any uh, cloud resource stored in the enterprise's data center so basically we have two uh, main things here that we have an enterprise and the storage service provider so these are were basically separated here from one another so
the enterprise and the storage service provider are separate here that means there are not any cloud resources which are stored in the enterprises data center so it makes this accessible for the public storage because both of these are separate here now after public cloud storage we have personal cloud storage now in the personal cloud storage this is basically a subset of your public cloud storage that applies to storing an individual's data in cloud and providing individual access to the data from anywhere that's why it's called here as a personal cloud storage because it's uh, providing here to store the data of an individual in the cloud and then providing the access for that data from anywhere now third one is your private cloud storage now here in the private uh, cloud storage the enterprise and the cloud storage provider are integrated in the enterprises data center that means the service provider and the this enterprise they are integrated that means the storage provider has the infrastructure they have their infrastructure in the enterprises data center so that means they are ma it is managed there both of these are not separated that's why it's called as a private because we have both of these resources together or we can simply say that the enterprise has this storage option with them they are not separated they have maintained all this for them that's why it's called as a private cloud storage because the enterprise and the storage service provider are integrated here after that we have hybrid cloud storage hybrid cloud storage is basically a combination of public and private that means the very critical data here is with private storage and rest it could be accessed so this is about the storage of cloud technology next one which we have here is the hypervisor the next infrastructure element here is the hypervisor now hypervisor is a firmware that acts as a virtual machine manager so simply we can say that this hypervisor here uh, enables the virtualization so this is basically a firmware or it here acts as a virtual machine manager this is your virtual machine manager so it allows to share the single physical instance of a cloud resource between the several tenants how by making the various physical instances of that one particular resource so it is allowing here to share one single physical instance of a cloud or we can simply say that one physical instance among several tenants so what we can say is that this hypervisor creates and runs the various virtual machine so a computer on which a hypervisor is running or one or more virtual machines are running that is defined as a host machine and then each virtual machine there is called as a guest machine so simply a computer on which your hypervisor is running that is your host machine and the various physical instances which are created there they are called as your guest machines so hypervisor here presents the guest operating systems with a virtual operating platform so this is here basically providing a virtual operating platform and manages the execution of that guest operating system so basically we have two different kind of hypervisor here type 1 and type 2 so first one is a bare metal hypervisor and the another category is your hosted hypervisor you have 
बेयर सुपरवाइजर और सेकंड कैटेगरी हियर इज होस्टेड हाइपरवाइजर सो इन बेयर मेटल दे इट hypervisor run directly on the host hardware that means there is no host operating system but in your hosted hypervisor what we have it runs on the conventional operating system that means hypervisor is here the layer between the hardware and the operating system so only after that the virtual machines will be created but here we have no host operating system here so this is the four important uh, components here for a cloud infrastructure now the next one uh, your management software and the deployment software sir so we have now the management software so these uh, management softwares helps to maintain and configure the infrastructure of your cloud these helps here to maintain and configure the infrastructure then we have the deployment softwares so the deployment software helps to deploy and integrate the application on cloud that means it helps in deploy and integrate the application on cloud so this with the various cloud infrastructure entities here so we just started about the network the storage and the hypervisor the servers and then the softwares which are used here for configuration maintaining and then the deployment and integration of the application on your cloud so this is all here for today's class Thank you so much.